here we go. Uh, this is your first training. So once you get logged in, you're going to see your dashboard. This is kind of where everything starts from. There's a couple different ways to get to pages. Uh, one thing you can do is you can click up here on My Sweet Chocolate and then just click Visit Site. And once you're on the site, uh, this slider is something that we have sized custom just for your slideshow. That's something that you really probably won't want to edit. But pretty much everything else you can edit. Uh, so if you say you wanted to edit the text here, you go up to the top where it says edit front page, click edit front page. And there you go. We got all these different things. That's the slider area, which is something that Melissa should probably change because it's custom graphic setup. And then all these sections you can click on. So if you want to click on this area to change the word employees or something, say it was spelled wrong, you would just click on it, then click on the area that you want to edit, type in what you want. It's just like Word. The only thing you'll do first time you log in is right next to the magic wand, you're going to see this toggle toolbar. That gives you more options. So usually once you click that one, so it'll just stay here. So if you wanted to highlight that, and make instead of a paragraph, make it a heading one. Um, maybe you want to italicize something. There's there's so much you can do. Uh, see, this is a link right now because you can see it's blue. So if you click on it, then if you go up here to the chain link, you can change where things link to. Like that. Again, you just click on it, click on the tool, the pencil, click on the link options. And you can either link it to pages inside your website, or you can link it into new pages by just pasting the URL here. If you're linking outside your website, I recommend open link in new tab. I'm not going to save any of these. Well, I could save it right now, but it won't really save unless you hit update up here. Once you're ready for the whole world to see it, once you hit update there, then the whole world would see it. These columns, you can drag everything around and move them. Got four young kids, so I kind of like to use the analogy. They're like Legos. You can stack them. You got all these different areas that you can stack in here. You'll see this other area down here, another area down here. So we wanted to create this is the layout element. We wanted to create a another section that's one third. I clicked on that three times. Then you scroll to the bottom, and you'll see that section. You can put whatever you want in here. Here's all the different content elements. The one you're going to use the most is this text block. So if I drag that down to that area, let's say maybe I want an image also. If you click on Media Elements, you're going to see Image at the very front. Drag that down there. So now if I just click on, click here to add your own text. Doo -doo -doo. Same, same thing as before. Uh, image, just click in there. Insert image. You can work with images that are in here, or you can upload files. I'm not going to do all that. Pretty straightforward. I'm not going to save any of these because these aren't good changes that I did. But if I go up here to view page, it's going to say, hey, you didn't save. Well, I don't want to say because I didn't do anything that was beneficial to us. Say we wanted to add a different page. If we wanted to go to Event Favors, and then click on Edit Page again, and you can get into all those areas and edit those. For your store, down here on the left where it says WooCommerce, orders, when you get orders in, it is better to process them. Uh, looks like you can see me testing a lot of different things. Um, but then when you get an order, you can click on it and do a bulk action, mark processing. Um, there's different things when you click in here, you can do the order also. Like over here on the left, you can hit complete. You can hit view the order. 
lots of options. Let's say you're uh, wanting to set up new products. Over here under products, you can click on just products. You're going to view your current products if you want to change pricing or whatever. So if you click into this item and say, hey, I need to make that a little bit more expensive. Now my cost went up or what have you. Uh, you can change text here. Scroll down a little bit farther. You see where the price is. You can change the price right there. The product image, this is the one that's going to be viewed from the front. So if I go to add products, give it a name, give it a description, give it the short description, give it a price. And just you got to make sure down here where it says product image, set the product image. That's what's going to show up first. That's the basics for setting up products. I'm going to go back to visit the site. It says, do you want to make changes? Your changes haven't been saved. I'm going to leave because I didn't really want to keep any of those. So yeah, it's really pretty straightforward. Let me let you get in there and start making some changes and going over things. Uh, the other thing is under the dashboard for menus, when you create new pages, if you were to create new pages, uh, this one that says top menu, that's that little bar in the very top, the main menu, that's where you got all your drop downs and everything. You can see things that are indented here are drop downs, that's your main menu. If you do view all, let's say you added a new page, you could click one of these and then hit add to menu. It always comes at the bottom. So then you would just drag it up to where you want it. Not going to do that, so I won't save it. All your media is controlled from media here. You know, you can upload a bunch of things if you want. Uh, I think that's the bulk of what you need to know to get in there and start changing content and adding products. Uh, the blog, see if you guys are using that. Yeah, okay. So to add pro posts to the blog, you just go to dashboard, see where it says posts. You can see your current posts. There's a couple there. Or if you do add new, just give it a title. Give us some text. You can categorize things. And once you hit publish, that will be published and show up under your blog. So yeah, I think that's a pretty uh, good rough overview. So you now can get in there and, and edit content areas. And you know, if you have a list of questions or whatever, send me those questions and I could uh, send you an updated video on answering those questions. Thanks, enjoy the rest of your day.